He's going to be mad as a hornet that thing ran out at the first corner. Uh oh. Next on course, Carolyn Martin, red field champion. Another girl who's had a great day. Oh. She was smoking around the three star. I, three inside the time. Yeah. Yeah. She and you did have to go in the three star to make the time, I think. And I kind of didn't didn't push my first horse really because he needs to come down a few pegs and not jump so high. And so I sort of looked after him a little bit. That was the plan. And yeah. um, my other horse, I knew I had a bit of time in hand, but um, certainly I wasn't hanging around even with, with a few time faults. Well, Carolyn can maintain if she has a double clear in this class as well, her second place. No one's going to be able to catch Dom Schramm and Quadracana. He's going to win the class on a 22.7. That's good for Dom. Yeah, I think Caroline really um, has stepped up her game after spending time with Pippa Funnel in England. And um, she's always been a, a very good competitive rider, but I think she's gaining a little bit more finesse from her time in England. And she's just come back to the States sort of ready to rock. And you spent a fair bit of time in England as well. Um, 20 years, yeah. Yeah, a, long <laughs> a fair time. bit of time. <laughs> Did you ride with anybody in particular? Or? Uh, I was based originally with William for around three years with okay. William Fox Pitt um, when I first moved over. And then um, I actually was based with Joe Meyer for quite a long time when he still lived there mm -hmm. and rode a bit for him. And um, and then I was on my own for 10-ish years over there. So, um, yeah, I was felt sort of really on my own because there weren't many Americans yes. over there. <laughs> and you are in Florida, right? You have um, in the winter and then in Kentucky, is that right? That's correct. We're in Lexington, actually, yeah. So... Um, Five Star is our home event, which is sort of weird, but sort of nice yeah. all at the same time. <laughs> Good ride through the yeah, water for nice Caroline. Doug looking like he's having a fairly quick round. He's a pretty efficient rider and does a lot of show jumping. And he uh, definitely, he made the time earlier today. It was the first one to make the time in the four star to show it could be done. Looking a little wiggly there, maybe. I think Ian's built some really great tracks this weekend. I, I literally was just having a chat to him outside mm -hmm. before I came in here, and I said I think it's um, okay, all in all probably the best four-star track he's built here. It was challenging, but it was fair. Maybe a few little things where he would have liked a teeny bit more room right. um, here and there, but um, other than that, I thought it was really masterful, and he just really understood how the horses would read that last water combination. I think we were all saying this is very serious, but yeah. they... They read it right, and the distances were right, and it um, it ended up being a really great execution and footwork for the horses, and I think especially the ones that are going to Kentucky, they mm -hmm. will have learned a huge amount today. Uh, Leslie Law was in here earlier, and we were talking about that, and I said, you know, when I walked that, it was like, I thought, oh my goodness, so tight in the two, but he Ian read it right, and it yeah. wasn't that tight in the two. I mean, Yeah, no, it worked, and I think you just had to know your horse and where you placed your horse. Um, because had I run my gray horse, I'd always plan to go very direct there because I knew he would sort of slither over the first edge. <laughs> and my other horse, I gave him a little more room, and it was tight, but it still worked. I'll tell you what seemed to be the toughest was some of that three-star with the jump into that skinny in the water. Boy, Yeah, that, that was tough. It yep. was tougher than the advanced question, I think. Um, and it was um, difficult because the turn came up very fast, and if the horses didn't land on their feet the right way, then you really had to work for it. Score to update you on for Alan Montemayor and AZ, picking up 20 at that first corner, but only 3.6 on the clock, giving them a provisional score of 51.9. I think that's a pretty substantial coffin, too, for the... I think so, yeah. 